Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? In today's video, I am going to be cash stuffing my cash envelopes and some sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and address the elephant in the room. My nails are chipped. This is gel polish. I have decided to start back wearing just my natural nails because this is a waste of money. This doesn't even last two weeks. It started chipping the first week, so. This V gonna start saving her some money on these nails. So with that out the way, let's go ahead and get started. I like to start out with my wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and empty my change. This is my change organizer. So anything that you see in the video will be linked down below in my Amazon storefront or either in my Etsy shop. So you can check the description box if you're interested in anything that you see in my video. So yeah, so how you guys doing today? So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Miss V. My husband and I are consumer debt free and I am saving portions of our saving money because I would like to retire at the age of 60. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, we were already saving, but we were still wasting a lot of money too. So I decided to join the budgeting community and get serious about saving. So that's all the change I have. So we're going to go ahead and, um, unstuff my sinking funds. I just did a video on what did I spend in a week and whether or not I stayed on budget. Well, you'll know if I stayed on budget in a few minutes because yes, all my envelopes have some money, some funds in them. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. So groceries, I always give myself a $50 um, budget on groceries. So we had $22 left. And I give myself a $15 budget on eating out and I had $11 left. So what I do is check, take a portion of our spending money out of the bank and leave the um, other half in for my husband because we already have money um, allocated to go you know, directly to our savings account and all that and you know of course we both are participating in 401k so this is just extra money that we're saving so spending i give myself um a hundred dollars a week so we had 10 20 30 40 51 dollars plus 17 dollars that i have in cash out so that's a total of 68 dollars that i saved yes so i'm proud of myself this week because i got some big goals if you've been watching my channel you know i started the 10K challenge in 10 days. So yes, I'm very serious about saving $10,000 in 100 days. So I'm gonna put that over to the side and I'll let you know what I would do with um, this extra money that I saved. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the um, sinking funds. No, we gotta restuff our cash envelopes first, okay. So I'm using this budget sheet that I picked up from Ladybug Budgets. Um, she's here on YouTube and she has a um, Etsy shop and I'll link that in the description box as well. But this is my um, this is what I'm referencing to know what goes where. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and then I also got the cash envelope breakdown sheet. Let you know what denominations you're gonna be using. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. So, for Dollar Tree, we're going to do four $5 bills. One, two, three, four, five. And then for spending, we're going to do 10, ten dollar bills. I do it that way. Seems like I save money more for some reason. I don't know. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100. So this is my spending money for the week. I do believe in um, enjoying your journey by purchasing items you know you really want but the thing is just to save for it so so you don't go in debt. Well that's my goal. Household and personal gets $15 and so that's a 10 on a 5. And yeah, check out my, um, what did I spend? 
last week. I'll link that video. And also, I just uploaded a video talking about my debt story, how I paid off $15,000 in credit cards and increased my credit score to 200 points. I'll link that video. Also, all these videos are filmed just to inspire you guys, to give you hope in case you're in the same or similar situation. So, eating out gets $15, and I'll give myself a 10 and a 5, I think. Yeah, a 10 and a 5 for eating out, and then I'm going to give myself a $50 bill for groceries. So I'm gonna put the groceries in here and then I'm gonna fold the <coughs> excuse me the $15 for eating out. So now I'm all ready for the week. Got my spending money, grocery money, personal and household. Um I do not do gas money. I just leave that in the bank and just use the debit card for that. So my wallet is all stuffed. So let's go ahead and get into these sinking funds. So, I'm going to start with my high priority binder. As I mentioned, this will be in my Amazon storefront if you're interested in this binder. Cute little binder. I just added the um, butterflies on this little piece of paper. It made me like a dashboard. So, let me see. Let me mark it off as I go so I can... Rough. The Roth IRA is going to get $18, and there's three ones, a five, and a ten. So as you can see, that's my goal, 7K this year, because I turned 50 years old, so I can put up to $7,000 um, in the Roth IRA, so that's one of my main goals. So I'm going to do a ten, a five, and these three ones. So that would give us 10, 20, 25, $28. And I've already filled out the trackers. I already have $100. Um, well, that should be, wait a minute. $90 in the bank, then I added 10 last week, that's 100. And the deposit, 18. Okay, yeah, this is the 10, okay. So I got 10, 20, 25, 28, and I got 90 in the bank. So that makes it 118. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. I have more than 118, but that's all I have in this envelope for the um, Roth IRA. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna um, add it after my birthday next month to 7K. Um, appliances and home. I'm saving up for some new nightstands, and I'm gonna add 20 today. So I'm gonna actually go um, do a day in the life of a budgeter. If there's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section. One thing that I will do in that video is go to the um, furniture store and kind of price, see if I can find some um, nice stands that I like and kind of price them and kind of know how much I need to save in my envelope. 10, 20, I mean, 10, I mean 20, 40, one, two, 42 dollars. That way you can kind of stay on budget. That way you don't do any impulse shopping like I used to do just go in the store and just pick it up and just go ahead and finance it that part of my life is gone all right car maintenance and now we're gonna do I think that's all in the high priority car maintenance 20 oh I put the wait a minute home gets 10 not 20 I was looking at the wrong thing so let me take that 20 out there and put a 10 in and car maintenance gets 20. I gotta build a car maintenance back up. I depleted that fund. And if you watch my channel, you know why. Good old car repairs. All right, so in car maintenance, we now have, I gotta add this one. Now we have $80. So I gotta add the $20 to this to tracker. It's building back up slowly, slowly but surely. Alright, so driving lesson. This is my last driving lesson that I have to pay for my granddaughter. She's doing pretty good, but I think my daughter going to pay for some additional um, lessons, but I only 
promised to pay for one four lessons i did my four lessons 230 dollars they were 65 a lesson so yeah that's it for me so i'm proud of her so we're gonna give her a 50 a 10 and a 5 and so i'm not gonna stuff this envelope I'm gonna go ahead and take this envelope out and i'll give this 65 dollars to my daughter yay that's one goal that's achieved so we're not gonna put anything in wedding that's my daughter wedding she get married in september nothing in business and that's it for the high priority and next we're going to do the low priority which is giving got a couple of um birthday dinners to go to so gotta put some money in giving giving is going to get forty dollars so let me add that to the tracker some of the trackers i filled out and some of them i didn't So yeah, guys, I'm loving this budgeting. Um, I'm loving it so much. I'm interested in being like a budgeting coach in the future. That's how much I love it. I'm getting a lot of, um, you know, people messaging me, asking questions. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. So $40 in giving. Support small. I'm supporting small businesses when I can. I actually have a wish list of... Um, businesses I want to support or items I've seen that I'm interested in I made the wish list that way I don't uh, you know do no impulse shopping I just go down the list slowly but surely I wish I had a copy of the list um, I'll insert a copy of the list in case your name is on that list um, so yeah support small so I'm gonna do two ten dollar bills and these envelopes the shop I got these envelopes from will be linked down in the description box as well. And I think that's all in the low priority. Support small and giving was the only thing I'm going to do in this one. And the next one is my vacation binder. Getting ready to go on a big vacation. Well, getting ready to go on a trip for my birthday. So, vacation binder. You know I have housing. We have a separated housing, food, gas, activities, and miscellaneous. And that's five categories, so all five get $10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So I'm going to do it this way to make it easier. I love this idea of a vacation binder. I think it's great. And miscellaneous. Okay, this is the money that I, $109 that I had left over from my cash envelopes and I always roll this over to whatever um, sinking funds that are a priority for me at the moment. And at this moment, it is my daughter's wedding and medical because I got to get help. Her. I got to go to physical therapy because I'm having some trouble with my leg. I have moments where I have trouble walking, and they did an MRI, and the doctor thought he was gonna have to do a total hip replacement thank god he does not he just sent me to physical therapy and so i know i'm probably gonna have to pay some copay so i want to build up my medical and then i want to go ahead and get some more money um save for a wedding in case i have to help my daughter with anything last minute so 109 dollars. so that mean i'll give each um i'll just distribute it out evenly just like playing cards right so I do this this way that motivates me to not spend from my cash envelope if I don't have to now mind you I don't deprive myself you know I just make better decisions 
when it's time to spend. So, medical is going to get 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Yay! So, that's great for medical. Let me see. Did I put it in here? So, yeah, we're going to do medical. Medical had, after I went to the dentist, had $11 left, so we're going to add $50. So yeah, my goal is to decrease my spending. So that's why I, um do some of the things I do in my videos. My um journey is a little different than most people because I'm already out of debt. So yeah, so today is the 31st. So we're gonna add $50, and I did that wrong. So that make that $61. That's the total. $61. So that'll take care of six, two copays if I have to pay them because my copay is $30. So yeah. So the shop where I got these cute envelopes, she's on a break right now, but I'll still link the shop. It's called My Luna Creates. I think that's the name of the shop where I got these cute envelopes. So yeah. So I'm going to put a new tracker in medical the next time I do my video. And wedding gets probably gonna be what? Let's see what wedding will get. What's the total for wedding? 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 44 plus 50. Oh, that's $94 I had left. I thought it was 109. I miscounted. Oh, well. So, who am I doing? Waiting. Where is the envelope? Oh, okay. oh, yeah, I did have 109 left. Remember, I had $17 on my cash app. That's, that's where the other money is. I'll just leave it on the cash app. Too confusing to try to get it out and put it somewhere. So, how much was that? 10, 20, 30. 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 44. So there's 66 already. So I'm going to add $44. So 68 plus 44 is what? So 112 dollars in waiting. And this money that's in wedding will also help with the bridal shower that I have to hold. So that's why I'm focusing on it right now. So that's it for wedding. And my last binder is my personal sinking funds. Stay tuned. Okay, and the last binder that I will be stuffing is my personal binder. And in this binder, Miss V, I don't get anything. Fitness gets tw $20 because I am in search of a new um, waist trainer. If you didn't know, I'm on a healthier journey, healthier lifestyle. So that's part of it. I've been doing laser lipo. So I shared some parts of that story on my channel and I'll be sharing the remainder um the final results probably um sometime in August so yeah trying to get fit over here trying to get my money right spirituality is already in is intact so working on my fitness and my money so clothing gets nothing and if you didn't know I have five grandchildren and I've been saving for them I originally was going to start them a savings account and put it in the um a high yield savings account, but I've since um changed that because they need this money right now. So there's no point in me saving the money if they need the money. So when I get to a point where I can um open them a savings account, that is the goal. But right now, um I'm gonna be giving them the money. So each one of them gets five dollars. They already had forty five dollars, so everybody will have fifty dollars. And what I think I'm gonna do is take this money out and give it to my daughters to help with their school supplies. So that's what my journey is about, enjoying life. You know, I'm saving for the future, but I'm not depriving 
myself of anything while I'm saving. So I'm not going to deprive. I'm not going to not help them right now just to save for them later. That's just my train of thought. So I'm going to take these 50s out except for um, in my grand, my um, three-year-old grandson. I leave his in unless my daughter needs it for something. So I'm going to put withdrawal on all these. And yeah. So, like I always do in every, now I'm um, asking questions in every video mainly, you know, of course, to, to get some engagement from you guys and to get to know you guys and also to um, kind of see who stays to the end of my videos, you know, for future reference. As you know, I don't do giveaways on my channel because my channel is mostly like a ministry that, you know, try to motivate people. There's nothing wrong with giveaways, of course. You know, I enter, I participate in giveaways, but I just choose not to do them on my channel because the giveaways mostly is about who subscribed to your channel. And so my um, random acts of kindness is for the people who watch that particular video. So that's why I don't do giveaways. So I do random acts of kindness. Just whenever I have the extra money, I'll just randomly give it to someone. So... These questions are part of that. So this question for this video is, as of this point right now in July, I know the year's not over and I know you probably have goals. What have you accomplished so far that you're proud of? And I'll name two things that I have accomplished that I'm proud of. Um, the first thing is what I'm doing now, starting this cash envelope system. I'm proud of it because it's helping me save more money and not spend all our money, even though we're out of debt. I had to change my mindset. And the next thing that I'm proud of that I have done is, yeah, spoiler alert, I actually have lost 15 pounds with my um, healthier lifestyle. And I, and I can contribute, contribute that to most of it to me changing my eating habits and exercising. But most of it is the laser lipo that I've done. So like I said, I'll do a video, a full video before and after. I'm pleased with the results. So yeah. So my grandson that I said I'm going to leave the $50 in, how about I took it out? Let me put it right back in. So I took that. Let me see. Take this one out. So yeah, tell me something that you have done that you are proud of this far in 2021. Yep. So that's it. That's going to conclude this video. So I have cashed up my cash envelopes that go in my wallet. I've cashed up some important sinking funds. And I have finished one of my sinking funds, my granddaughter's driving lesson. So I got to take that one out. So if I need that envelope for something else, I use that for that. And that's it. So that's going to conclude this video. This is Miss V. I'm going to continue to show you love. And I'm going to always help you save on some of the things you need so you can get some of the things you want. Thank you and have a nice day.